Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Gary 
and I are walking through Home Depot right now and I cannot believe the prices for this lumber. $64 for a three quarter, four by eight. That's, that one. that's this guy. I'm just looking at the tag. No, I know, but that's this guy right here. Yeah, that's crazy, guys. Crazy. This guy looks like one of these. 47.35 for a half. That's ridiculous. I haven't even seen the quarter eight. Freaking, I'll be honest, it's cracked, dude. It's ridiculous. That's originally what I was thinking to save money. And, and what, that's 41? Not even what I want. $41 per sheet? Mm -hmm. Not even close to what I want. Well, I know you are a perfectionist, and I know it makes you upset to have to do something. Things. Yeah. But, I don't, I'm not a half-asser and I don't like it, but my budget is definitely what's killing me right now. Well, we just can't afford it. I mean, we, how many pieces do we need of this? Like 16? We need like 15 pieces of this. Okay, 15 pieces. 15 pieces that... Come on, man, do the math. I know. So. 50 bucks? Shit. And over a thousand bucks. So they have treated one by two by eight foot, 2.98 each one. That's the best price I've seen so far. So if I end up removing some of those pallet the tops, move them all over in a sense, put these every other so it ties it in, helps ties in each pallet together because we're tying in 36 of them for one area and another 15 for another area and another 15 for another area. So, if we buy, buy these, we should be able to go like this with it and make it all work. Good morning you guys well it's uh the next day <laughs> my voice has just been really bad since uh, the meetup i'm working on it anyhow um we got all these pallets in here so now we've got to unload them and start figuring out how we are going to create this flooring because everything has been super nasty muddy wet making everything yuck so we're going to start hauling all those out, making two different piles, one pile for the nicer pallets, one pile for like the more yucky pallets. And uh, we're going to situate it and try to figure out how we can make a flooring. So right now you guys can see we have a bunch of hay down. And it's been doing a really good job with keeping some of the mud control. But when it rains, it gets soaking wet in here and it still gets muddy. So this is the problem we're trying to fix. Right over here, this is our trailer and when it rains the water just kind of comes rushing through this like that we had to do um when we had this graded out we had to do it at a slightly not like we had to do it slightly not level so that way it would allow for water drainage um so that's why it does come rushing down that way it's better than having it be a giant pool there right so it is what it is, but if we have, we're thinking that if we have the pallets up and off the ground, all the water and stuff is gonna go beneath our feet and it will solve a lot of the wet and muddy problem. So, now we have the task of unloading this thing and figuring out how we're gonna make this floor. Better get it.
All right, guys, so we've got multiple projects going on today. We're gonna try to get the pallets out and create some sort of a deck so that way when it rains tonight, scheduled to rain tonight, we don't have a complete river flowing in between our trailers again. In the meantime of waiting for everyone to be awake to be able to participate in that community build, um, we are going to be building the kids' trampoline. So that way the kids have something more to do other than just play in the play tent um, and it'll keep them happy and occupied while we uh, work on that decking. So me and Gary are gonna start hitting it. Um, I hope we have all the pieces because we kind of just threw it all, took it all apart when we moved to Arizona and I think we kept it all together, but it's been a while since we set this thing up. So we're just gonna kind of be uh, winging it today. Yeah, I have an idea of how it goes back. The only piece that I can think of that we might be missing is the little cooks on the well, that's the only thing I can think of because we've got everything here, so should be able to get it together pretty quick. I hope so. So we're gonna use this uh, netted out, like this tarped out area that we were saving for like another tent. Um, we're not gonna be putting another tent here. We're gonna use this for the kids' as like play area. I did pick up a pool, so we're gonna put a pool and a trampoline here for the kids, and uh, they'll be able to chill here while we work and get stuff done around the property. So, we better get to it. Let's get her done. All right.
All right, so tarp on the bottom, level pallet flooring in here, and it's all done. So this one right here is going to be the kids' playroom. We've been having to shuffle around the kids quite a bit lately um, just because of necessity, right? We needed to be able to have a place to do our laundry. Um, we needed to be able to have it clean and not in the uh, the rain and stuff. So kids' toys kind of got pushed off to the side in that area and they've been sharing the laundry room. So we got them this one now, has a flooring on it. Uh, tomorrow we will probably be moving all of their toys and things in here after we rinse them with the well water. And uh, this will be their area where they can have their picnic table set up where they could put all their toys where they can get all that stuff done in here the other laundry room is going to be like a giant closet for all of us plus the laundry room so we'll probably put a couple other like storage things in there too that we want to keep out um, really easily accessible kind of stuff not the long-term storage stuff but I think that the pallet flooring I'm talking right now I think that the pallet flooring in here turned out really nice it's level we'll be able to keep it clean um, the water will not be going through here and rushing through here so that's a huge plus so the kids toys will not be getting destroyed we're gonna do the same thing that we did on this side over into the laundry room and then we also have to make a deck for in here I don't know when we can all get together and make it happen but hopefully it'll be soon and we can get rid of this big stack of pallets that we have and um, we'll have lots of flooring. So that's the goal, that's the hope. It's been a lot of physical work for me today. It's been a lot of physical work for Gary today. Um, we're tired. I need a shower really bad. Like look at the creases of my arms. They're black. All the humidity is making the dirt stick to me. Something fierce. So any hoots, um, I gotta make us some dinner. I gotta. Get this night finished up we're expecting rain in about another hour and a half two hours so at least uh we got this kind of area done um we did not achieve all that i wanted to achieve today but you can't win them all tomorrow's another day long day long day it's been warm very very warm and very very hot yeah And the rains have arrived.